Earth now. With the help of satellite data, scientists studying the tropics and other climate zones have been tracking changes over time. Here, the tropics is highlighted in orange. Recent studies show the tropical zone is expanding towards the poles. Why do we care if the tropics expands? This widening spreads tropical diseases to new places and drought to the subtropics, where much of the world's population lives. What is the tropics, and how could its expansion cause drought in the subtropics? The tropics is an area around the equator where prevailing trade winds blow from east to west. Early explorers used these to cross the Atlantic and Pacific oceans. Trade winds are caused by the sun, heating the equator more than the north and south poles. When the sun heats land and ocean around the equator, warm, moist air rises, creating clouds, storms, and rain. The air loses heat and moisture through the rainfall. At the top of the atmosphere, the air moves away from the equator towards the poles, sinking as drier air in the subtropics. There we find dry zones and deserts in areas where the prevailing surface wind doesn't travel over water to replenish its moisture. From data collected by satellites and weather balloons, scientists have measured widening of the tropics by about 10 degrees of latitude over the past 30 years. These data show a greenhouse gas called ozone, made of three oxygen atoms. Satellites measure ozone between the ground and the top of the atmosphere, or total column ozone. High amounts are shown in dark blue, low amounts in light blue to white. Ozone at the top of the atmosphere forms naturally and is good, shielding us from the sun's ultraviolet rays that cause sunburn. Bad ozone near the ground is caused by pollution and damages plants and people's lungs. The measurable change in total column ozone between the tropics and subtropics is used to identify the boundary, shown here as a white line. A change in the extent of the tropics has occurred over the last few decades. The five-year average boundary of the tropics between 1980 and 1984 is shown here as blue lines. The five-year average between 2008 and 2012 is shown as red lines. Notice the northern edge of the tropics shifted northward by an average of four degrees, while the southern edge shifted southward by about six degrees. That's a widening of about 10 degrees over 30 years. It might not look like much, but it has significant impact. Widening the tropical zone poleward impacts storm tracks and the water cycle, affecting places where many people live. Increased drought is likely in such places as southwestern United States, the Middle East, and southern Australia. Additionally, tropical diseases such as the mosquito-borne dengue fever are starting to spread poleward as recent outbreaks in Florida, Portugal, and even Russia have been reported. Understanding how climate zones are shifting will guide decisions about how to address changes from where to plant crops to developing vaccines.